Fuck me, I'm looking in the mirror So, yesterday uh, was the yearly animathon. Well, more like the first animathon since 2019. And really the first con I've been to without COVID restrictions since, well, 2020. And this year, I almost didn't go. Um, simply because the guests animathon brought in weren't exactly the most appealing guests. For me, anyway. And... I didn't know if I was going to have fun. So I did decide to go um, with my friend who I always go with. And he brought his son and his son's friend also came. So I guess the question was, would I have fun at an expo with no guests to meet? Then later that evening, we saw the new Brad Pitt bullet train in VIP in a different VIP theater that... I'm normally, uh, I've never went to before, I normally go to the one on the south side in Windermere in Edmonton, but the, we always go to the movies in IMAX, so whenever we go to VIP, we get a little discouraged about the quality of the actual theater themselves, so we got told that this other VIP in the north end of Edmonton was better and almost as good as IMAX. So we decided to check it out. So stay tuned to find out who, if I can have fun at Animathon without any guests, and if the theater was actually worth the visit. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today we're doing a vlog attempt and we're going to go to Animathon and then go to movies and VIP gonna go see bullet train so let's check it out all right we're here we've parked anyway and here's the kiddos and here's my buddy mark yay all right time to actually go to the event arriving at the venue the edmonton convention center which will always be known as the edmonton or sorry the shaw conference center for me uh, I actually graduated at this venue, graduated high school. It was uh, a pretty, really, uh, pretty nice venue um, with the glass and just over the river. So you really get some looks in. Uh, beautiful scenery in the background of the actual venue. That's something you can't really describe without being there live. Of course, when we arrive, you have to take us tons of elevators down and escalators and as you can see here we're arriving going down the escalator and it's pretty early in the morning still it's just like 9 15 maybe 9 30 a.m and a first step was to get our wristbands and then after we get our wristbands uh we went to line up for the venue we still had 20 minutes or so um after getting our wristbands and man, that line was packed. So nothing like taking a selfie when waiting and then they started letting us in and the flow was really nice and we were able to get in with no problem and it was quite special. It was kind of quiet during the morning but it was still a very fun experience being the first con in Edmonton since the pandemic started. So, um, tons to look at, tons of different vendors that weren't previous there or were even previously there. So, overall, it was just a lot of fun just looking around and exploring. Um, not too many people in cosplay yet. As the day went on, more cosplayers showed up. I do find that cosplayers don't tend to show up right at the crack of dawn. Some do, for sure, but not many. It just kind of depends. 
Um, they have these really cool cars, all anime themed, and would love to drive one of those. Imagine how fast one of those can go. Would be really cool. And there was like five or six of them with different waifus on it and everything like that. So, yeah, it was definitely a fun experience. So, yeah, I actually did find someone to meet and get a selfie with. Uh, Edmonton's own local cosplayer named Vivid Vision. You can find her on Instagram under vivid underscore vision. And, yeah, I got a selfie with her. And then I was actually talking to her about my uh, aspirations for YouTube and... Wow, I, f I was really surprised with the uh, both the encouragement and the amount of advice she gave me. And uh, even doing this voiceover was uh, something she gave me advice for. So yeah, thanks Vivid if you ever watch this. Um, yeah, so it was really cool to uh, meet her. Again, I've met her plenty of times. But it was really cool to get the advice. Something that's pretty valuable from someone who's been doing youtube and instagram tiktok all that for way longer than me for sure ended up getting some explody drinks and there's always a little bit of a strategy to opening this and i managed to get it and then yeah then we went to the gaming hall now the gaming hall is where the autographs uh took place and it was really nice and AC'd, ventilated in there. Probably perfect place for all the computers and TVs and electricities to keep them cool. All sorts of games were being played, mostly all fighters, but there was uh, games like Smash, Dragon Fighter Z, Persona 4 Ultimate Mix, Mario Kart, um, various other games like that one dancing waifu game miku i think her name is and yeah it was a pretty relaxed area tons of seating in the gaming center with very comfortable chairs then we saw some cool gundams and gundam models anyway and man these things were detailed and probably cost a bunch there's a whole booth of them with like a massive amount of them. Alright guys, just leaving Animathon. We're only there for a few hours. Not too many guests this year, so we just kind of went and looked at the vendors. Did your kiddos have fun? Yeah. Woots, and what about you, Mark? Yeah. Alright, well, next up, a uh, little bit of a decompress, and then bullet train and VIP. Check out for more. All right, I'm back home now for a little bit, a couple of hours to decompress from Animathon. It was a pretty fun time there. Again, just wasn't into the guests. Wish there was a guest though, but it was cool to hang out with my friend Mark and kind of interesting experience having uh, accompanying his kids and friends, best friend of his kid. So yeah, a couple more hours and then I'll be going to go see uh, uh, bullet train and VIP so kind of going from a Japanese anime convention to a Japanese movie basically should be good well of course when I got home pets needed some love after not being at home for a few hours
All right, so almost time for my buddy to pick me up to go to the movie. And yeah, so a little backstory about this movie here is we're going to a VIP in the North End. And um, I think with the VIP experiences, we, uh, me and my friend, other friend from this morning, always felt the VIP theaters themselves, the quality is not as good as what we're used to with T-Box or IMAX. So the goal is to hopefully we were told that the North End VIP is a lot better and hopefully this one proves to be the case. So um... uh, nothing like a Saturday night at the movies with some popcorn and this theater though is not just a bag of popcorn and a soda. This has a full bar with all your favorite drinks so you could get a little buzzed going and you can even have a full-on meal not just like fast food but an actual restaurant type meal and the theaters are beautiful of course uh, with recliners with heated seats and you can push the buttons to pull out the chair and the other button will pull out the headrest and you can just lean back and relax and watch the movie all right the movie's done it's been a long day i'm pretty tired but the movie was fun and yeah i'll let you know what the results were on the quality but overall the so there we have it um so yeah i think the animathon turned out to be fun so success um, I think making the vlog helped, made it fun, made it interesting, got some advice along the way, which is always good. Um, doing this editing, I definitely know what I need to do better next time in terms of angles and length duration. And then the movie was great fun. Um, overall, the screen is not as good as IMAX and D-Box, and when you think about it, nor should it. But it is definitely an improvement from the other VIP theater. So take that for what you will. Okay, guys, let me know what you think about this vlog, and uh, any advice would be great. And uh, thanks for watching, and I'll check you guys in the next episode.